Did you know that you can add your ID to your Apple wallet on iPhone? Now, the wallet app is already home to lots of things like credit cards, the Apple card, and even things like boarding passes or concert tickets. But if you live in a few select states, you can also now add your state issued ID or driver's license to the wallet app so you can have it with you wherever you bring your iPhone. And it's very simple to do too. All you have to do is open the wallet app, press the plus sign at the top, and then tap on driver's license or state ID. And then just scan the front and back sides of your ID. And then after that, Apple puts you through a verification process to make sure that it's really you that owns the driver's license. This is pretty cool. It's kind of like setting up face ID for the first time. It has you do a series of facial movements or facial gestures, like smiling, in order to do a full scan on your face. From there, Apple sends that information over to your state and it will be approved or disapproved depending on whether or not it's actually you on the ID. Now, once you do this verification process, once the state approves it, it'll automatically be added to your Apple wallet. So you can use your driver's license in there from now on. And it is all protected by the same privacy and security features that Apple uses on everything, especially in the wallet app. So it will be very secure in there, making sure that no one's gonna be able to access that information. You're actually not even able to screenshot or screen record while you're in the wallet app in this section, just to protect your security. Only you are gonna be able to see your information. You do have to authenticate with Face ID in order to access it. And all of the data, including when you use your ID, is encrypted. So Apple and your state are not gonna be able to see when and where you are while using this. Now, in order to access your driver's license, again, it's just as simple as opening the wallet app, tapping on the state issued license, and then pressing view details in order to get all the information in case you need it. Another cool feature for this section is that Apple has included the contact information for your state's DMV. So if you wanna call them or go online to their website, you can easily find it in this wallet app. Apple has put this to great use because you can use your ID in certain situations in the same way that you would use Apple Pay. So if you're somewhere like an airport, for example, you can easily get through TSA checkpoints by scanning your iPhone like you would while using Apple Pay and then your phone will automatically send over the information that the TSA checkpoint needs in order to verify that it's you. This is a lot more private and safer in general because you're not gonna be handing over an ID that someone else could look at. Do keep in mind that you can only add one driver's license per Apple ID. So if you're like me and you share your Apple ID with your spouse, you're not both gonna be able to add it to the wallet app. But the ID is easy to add and remove, so if for whatever reason you guys wanna switch out when you're using it, you can do that. Now the one main downside to this is that you can only use this if you're in one of three states right now, which is Arizona, Colorado, or Maryland. There are a lot of other states that have committed to supporting this feature, but I guess it's still in the works. Apple says they're coming soon but there's actually 10 other states or territories that are gonna be able to use this here in the near future. I really love this feature, and I love what Apple is doing for the future of privacy and security by eliminating the need for a physical card and digitally sending information, so it's a lot more private whenever you need to access your ID. Quick side note too is that I really love the artwork that they use for the state-issued IDs in the Wallet app. Each state has its own unique artwork, and it's very cool when you look at it, it's a dynamic picture, so as you tilt your phone from side to side, it changes slightly and has a very cool luminescent effect. I also love the fact that this kind of eliminates the need for you to carry a wallet with you. So again, if I leave my wallet at home, if I lose my wallet, or if I'm just wanting to travel light, you can just bring your iPhone and you'll have that information with you. Are you in a state where you can do this yet? And if so, have you tried it out? Let me know what your thoughts are on this new feature. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this one too. Thank you so much for watching.